time it up. And that number
91.7 KXT, and we are here with the band Kiltro just wrapped up that song, Wanako. Can you tell us a little bit about that? I, I know why you wrote it, but if you want to tell our listeners why you decided to write that song and what it means to you. Yeah, so uh, Wanako is, it's basically a, um, so it's an animal, mm-hmm. but in Chile it's a word that they use to refer to police vehicles that shoot water at protesters. So the idea with the song was to just kind of create this environment of, I guess there's like a political dimension to it, but it's not like expressly like a political song, but um, just to create that tension of like personal sort of anxiety and then that kind of collective um, force for maybe good or whatever it is. And so I just thought that was an interesting setting for for a song that, um, yeah, because I mean, ya viene el guanaco means here comes the guanaco. So there's mm-hmm. almost something a little bit like, vaguely mythological about it or something or like a weird kind of i don't know fairy tale or something i don't know but it was a it was a really fun one to write and it's actually i think the first one that we wrote for for underbelly for this album and that kind of helps uh the segue thank you started with the mystical part so in a recent q a you mentioned that you read the book 100 years of solitude yeah right yeah. which i freaked out about because i've read that book twice now um you said it's a book that helped you explore the mysticism within your own music. Can you tell us a little bit about what the book means to you and how it helped influence this album? Well, it's been a long time since I read it. Um, but I mean, I like the, I mean, I love magical realism because of the way that it kind of breaks logic, but still has this, like, it still tells a kind of narrative without relying on this sort of the, the, the things that a narrative tends to rely on, you know, in terms of the Correct. sequence of events that makes perfect logical sense characters that seem to be trading the same name and are maybe manifestations of the same person Mm -hmm. and i think music is a an interesting medium in the sense that it's always kind of operating in a in a nether it's not like there's a series of events or a protagonist going through um a series of events it's not i mean i guess there are obviously albums that have that quality you know i mean uh pink floyd and the who have done concept albums that are very specific in that way but i think for us i think it's very interesting to create a space or like a context or a place where something is happening right um right. and the songs have that sense of unity whether it's through the ambience or the um or just the kind of character of the textures and sounds that i think puts you in the in the in in an environment for things to happen and of course there's sort of recurring themes and sometimes recurring characters i mean our first album had a whole lot of that this one I think is a bit more abstract, but it has that in common with it too. So I guess if, yeah, in terms of the books I've read, I, I love stuff that seems to intimate meaning, you know, without quite giving it to you, you know, or banging you over the head with it. Understood. Um, but I think that's one of the really artful things that he did in that in that book. For sure. For the listeners, 100 Years of Solitude is a great book. Uh, make sure you check it out. It's by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. If you guys want to get started for our second song today, I'll definitely take one from you.
minutes left Who stalks the pair of pets? Cuchito My life's a lot like that Cuchito Hot scraps for cigarettes Cuchito But these flies go blunt and crack Cuchito When I'm lame and limping past Cuchito Eyes wide with cataracts Cuchito Well I'm hunting still you know Cuchito Seven KXT music from the band Kiltro. When you get asked what type of music you play, how do you explain that to people? Um, yeah, well, we get asked that a lot, and I feel like it's. Um, I don't know if it's. I mean, I guess it's a mix with you know a variety of different inspirations and stuff. But um, I mean, I started out writing songs um, in a period when I was listening to a lot of things that I'd grown up listening to, which was like Victor Jara, Violeta Parra, all these kind of Chilean artists, Inti Gimani. Um, but it's also has other Western influences and in production and because um, I love like working in the studio and stuff. And I think we, you know, Will and I spent a lot of time on the textures and um, yeah, so maybe indie, Latin, psychedelic. Somebody said something really cool yesterday, but I forgot what it was. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't want to get the name wrong, but well, I just found yeah. out what shoegaze means. Is that like would it, would that be a part of like? I think so. Yeah, there's definitely some like sections in the in the sets where we're just making a lot of crazy ambient stuff and um, improvising a bit. Um, so yeah, I guess it's sort of shoegazy. Shout I do look a lot guy. on my feet. So <laughs> Jackson, help me learn what that is. Thank you, Jackson. <laughs> I have no idea what shoegaze meant. And uh, you are a part. You attribute um, a, your music to splitting your time between Chile and being here in the states. What part of that is like the Chilean culture of music that you have infused, and the American part of that? I think it's really hard to um, like separate. I think they're probably both a a big part of it. I don't know um, like how beholden I feel to that as like moving forward. I think it's just sort of whatever comes out because anytime I sit down to write something, it's just I'm just playing, you know. Um, like I love the feeling of picking up a new synth or a, or a pedal or something and just finding my favorite sound on it. And sometimes that's the only sound that I ever record it, you know, record with it. But I think that as far as trying to infuse it with a specific like um, style or to give it this particular kind of background or tie it in, I think that happens by accident. I think it happens just based on what we happen to be listening to at the time of of recording. So I don't know which part is which, but there's certainly elements like Cueca, which is a kind of traditional Chilean beat mm -hmm. in three, um, that has made it into a lot of songs, or at least they're infused with a kind of, you know, a beat that's reminiscent of it. Um, certainly certain chord progressions. I think Victor Jara in partic particular, he had these really melancholic, um, very emotive melodies that were also very dynamic and playful and sort of went all over the place. And so that was 
it's kind of a freeing way to write and sing. And so I think that's probably in there as well um, in certain songs. Um, yeah, so I don't know. I think it's a mix. I think sometimes in production, like in quarantine, I was listening to a ton of Moses Sumney. Um, and he's incredible the way you he, are like you, just, know, his, you were taking all my questions just running right into him oh, yeah go ahead <laughs> we'll talk about that later that's for sure yeah yeah um, and lastly the name Kiltro can mm -hmm. you tell people what that what the name is and why you decided to choose that as like yeah. something to represent you uh, Kiltro is a it's a Chilean word for a dog usually like a mixed breed dog or a street dog um, I used to live in a city called Valparaiso in, in, in Chile and it's absolutely full of street dogs and the first album kind of deals a lot with with that as like this kind of running metaphor um and also the music is a mix of styles and i'm half chilean and half uh american and so i think there's like a, a we're i'm a mutt too in a way and so it, it kind of works on these multiple levels and um it just felt like the most appropriate name you know and i think it gives us sort of room to experiment in the future too because it's just uh it's meant to be a blend <laughs> You ain't ever been Men who wraps that beetle wet And peeps the clouds and canopies So where you wanna be, wanna be, wanna be Oh yeah They say I talk a lot Well I could change you with a fire You knew me in a former life That messianic garden on So those are better days, better days, better days Oh yeah And though I sit where the doors go The places the drums roll I'm out of lifeboats, I said it before, my friend, I swear I'm not like those. I got my days, man, this one's like the last one. You pass me by on the day, me, well, how do you see me? A drunk or a dead beat, you don't know the half of it, my life is amazing. I got my days, though, I got my days, though. Como te va, como te va, como te va, And don't forget to shoot us by the dollar scene The way you wanna be, wanna be, wanna be, oh yeah And though I see where the doors go The places the drums roam And down by the lifeboats I said it before, my friend, I swear I'm not like those I got my days, man, this one's like the last one You pass me by on the daily We're 